Welcome to part four of our Rebuilding Bible Study for Thursday the 24th of September. And today, as you can see, we're going to be looking at another passage that helps us with this rebuilding process. It's Luke chapter 6, verses 46 to 49, and it's the story that Jesus told about the wise and the foolish builder. And of course, there's a lot in this story about rebuilding because we've got uh, the one who builds on the firm ground and the one who builds with no foundations at all. And we might think that this parable is primarily about how we build our lives and what foundation we put in. But Jesus tells us that it's also about listening and doing. It's about hearing his word and then obeying his word. So let's look at the parable together. Let's see what we can learn together. The situation begins with Jesus asking this question, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? In other words, there are those who are gathered around and they're quite prepared to say, oh Lord, oh Lord, and proclaim and say, oh yes, you're the Messiah, you're Lord, you're the one who's in control. But yet for some reason, they will say this with their mouths, but they will not do what Jesus asks them to do. They'll say he's Lord, but they won't act as if he's Lord. They won't do the things that he says. And Jesus says, that's a strange position to be in, because if you think I'm Lord, then you should value my words and you should put them into action. If you think that I am the Lord, then you should realise that my words are the ones that you should live by and my words are the ones that should make an impact in your lives. And Jesus wants to show that this is an inconsistent way to live. It's an inconsistent way to build your life. I will show you what he is like who comes to me, hears my words and puts them into practice. And this is the key thing. It's okay to listen to Jesus, but if we don't do a thing that he says, we might as well not have listened. So here Jesus is saying, if you want to call me Lord, then make sure that you are going to do what I say. So he tells the story. It's a familiar story. It's one that we tell the children all the time. He is like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on rock. Who is that? It's the person who hears his word and then puts it into action. When a flood came, the torrent struck that house but could not shake it because it was well built. And if we want lives that will stand up to the problems in life, we need to listen to Jesus and put his word into action. Because if we do that, we'll have a foundation for everything else that goes on. And whenever we face the uncertainties, whenever we face the difficulties, then we will not be shaken. There are many today whose lives have been totally shaken because they have nothing firm. They're just going along. They were living life to the best that they could. They were following the example of the world and they were everything was going well for them and there were no problems. But now suddenly, during this pandemic and during lockdown, the problems have arisen and suddenly their foundation is very shaky or there is no foundation there at all. Then Jesus delivers the killer blow. This is the person, he says, who hears my word but doesn't do anything about it. It's not even that they don't hear Jesus. They hear it, but they do nothing about it. But the one who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like a man who built a house on ground without foundation. The moment the torrent struck that house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. And there are many today whose lives are collapsing because they have no foundation. They have built their lives without a foundation and suddenly it is crumbling down around them. And we are the ones who have the hope, the good news to take out into the world and to say, this is what Jesus says. Why don't you do something about it? Why don't you come to him and trust in him? It's not that we're telling people, well, look, here's five ways that you can make sure that your life improves after lockdown. Here's, don't waste your opportunity of quietness and peace after lockdown. 
Those aren't the messages that we're taking out to the world. We're taking one message out to the world. Here is Jesus. And Jesus can give you purpose. And Jesus can give you a foundation. So let's pray and let's thank him for that. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you that we can hear Jesus' words. Now, Lord, help us put them into action in our lives. Help us to live out what Jesus teaches us. So that, Lord, others may have a foundation to build their lives upon and so that our lives would not be shaken. Help us today, Lord, to trust you and follow you. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.